Hello and welcome to our afternoon newscast for this Tuesday, April 2nd here in South Korea. We start with live coverage of President Yoon Seo-gil's opening remarks to kick off the government's assessment of its public policy briefing sessions aimed at bolstering the people's livelihoods here. We will return with our regular broadcast after this live event that is supposed to start a little after two. Now, I understand we're still waiting for his arrival at the venue for this assessment. The assessment comes after 24 sessions of public policy briefings aimed largely, as I mentioned earlier, at bolstering the livelihoods of people amid the economic challenges, so to speak, that has been met by the people owing to high prices of fruits. With regard to prices of apples and pears, they have apparently surged more than 80 percent. The government has come up with a number of short-term and long-term countermeasures. I understand the assessment is about to begin. We will come back to you afterwards. I would like to make the Pledge of Allegiance. Please face the flag. At ease, please be seated. We would like to begin the policy discussion with the people assessment session. First of all, the president will de deliver his opening remarks. Hello, everyone. It's good to see you. 4th of January this year, we have launched the policy discussion with the people. And until 26th of March, for the three months, we have gone to the fields every week, once or twice a week. And all in all, we had 24 sessions. We have heard vividly to the people and companies' voices, and we visited many different areas to look at and to get an update on what is the condition there. And it was reflected swiftly to the policies and it is changing the lives of the people. Today, we are here to talk about the measures, the policies that the government has taken as a follow-up measure. Especially, we're going to look at the social sector policies. As I was taking the policy discussion sessions, I have been emphasizing two facts. One is that we should not just say we are going to review. For the people, saying we're going to review would mean that we are not going to take actions. Until now, many people were told by the public servants that they would review and there weren't anything that was happening. So we should not review, just review, but we have to take actions. And that is the principle of the policy discussion. Second of all is tearing down the wall. When we are visiting the sites, we have many different problems and we have regulations and budgets that are uh, amassing different types of ministries 
countries. And therefore, if the walls are tall and high, then they, you would have to go around to many different agencies and ministries, and the problem is not solved. Therefore, the policy discussion from the preparation stage, we talk about the agenda and the different regulations. And therefore, we come up with different ministries. And it went up to 13 ministries that came together at one meeting site. And with all those ministries, the, they cooperate in terms of resolving the issues that came up in the policy discussions. And the way of public servants' work has changed significantly through these public discussions. Most of all, the issues in the field should be looked at from the perspectives of the people. And from that perspective, the ministries come together and muster their strengths to come up with a resolution. Also, the high and, high and uh, tall all walls between central and local governments were uh, have collapsed. And that was the principle lying behind the policy discussions, and we have uh, looked at 240 uh, tasks and an average of 10 government action uh, plans were identified and they were quickly, they are being quickly resolved. Last Friday, Suso Dongtan GTXA line uh, groundbreaking ceremony was held. On January 25th, we have held the lively discussion to solve transportation in the metropolitan area. and. And there, we talked about speeding up the GTX construction. And with the, the opening of Suso Dongtan construction, the GTX will be quickly uh, expanded to more regions. And yesterday, I have held a uh, press conference on medical reform, and uh, this medical reform was discussed during the February 1st policy discussion session. And in that session, strengthening the local medical conditions and fair compensation and alleviating the legal um, lawsuits against doctors, and those were the four major medical reform packages. And following that, the 2000 uh, medical school quota hike was announced. At the moment, we are going through difficulties because of the collective actions by the uh, junior doctors, but this uh, should be, and it will be definitely achieved, the medical reform. And also, I feel particularly attached to Nulbom School that was discussed at our ninth uh, session on February 5th. I have already visited Nulbom School for four times this year alone and met with children. Nulbom School started out last March in, uh, with uh, more than 2,000 schools, and now it has increased to 2,838. The 500 uh, that were, were waiting for the Nulbom School, uh, they were all uh, included a, and uh, to the Nulbom School program. The children who are participating participating in Nulbom School, uh, for them to enjoy high quality education, the, the schools, the education offices, local governments, and Ministry ed of Education are coming together as a one team, and we uh, this is very well received by parents and children. The government will continue to uh, invest funds and support so that Nulbom School can uh, take a steady and a strong foothold. There were also issues that were immediately resolved through the discussion sessions, especially from the 10th uh, livelihood discussion on February 8th. It was about the SME owners, and there was an unfair story of a self-employed businessman who was deceived by a teenager's counterfeit ID, and his business was suspended. And on that spot, I uh, instructed the public officials 
official to uh, make this uh, to immediately resolve this issue and just uh, short of one week's time we have revised the enforcement ordinance and in uh, on March 26 the enforcement decree and the ordinance were revised uh, the relevant regulations were revised so that we could have a legal basis to prevent such unfair damage to the people also the fifth policy discussion was about the daily lives regulations and we have eased the, these regulations that people are faced with every day and I first of all with the abolishment of the um, I, the Terminal Distribution Act, Mobile Telecommunication Terminal Distribution Act, the burden of communication costs on the public is being reduced, and these are the steps that uh, could be taken by the government until we wait for the actual revision of the Act. And uh, with this, we have expanded the subsidies for purchasing terminals, and we have launched, we have seen a launch of various rate plans. Also, in the same discussion, we have uh, decided to improve the inconvenience of the people because of the large supermarkets' uh, obligatory closure on public holidays. And unlike the concerns that such move will uh, relate to, would result to the drop of small sized um, shop owners' income, this actually came out differently, that it had activated the livelihood of the, the, the vicinity of the market. And Seoul's Dongdaemungu has a change to weekday closure, and Busan City, as, I, as far as I know, will come on board quickly. On the seventh session that was held on January 30th, we talked about the uh, digital uh, era and uh, we have emphasized that one-stop administrative services are essential. The one-stop administrative services is befitting the era where people, all the people have smartphones and this is essential for people's conveniences. From March 13th, uh, 120 public services, uh, the required documents for these public services uh, came down to zero so that people no longer have to run back and forth to be equipped with necessary documents. And also the game industry that has a tremendous potential, we have to properly foster this industry and to do so, we have uh, strengthened the customer consumer protection. And to this end, we have disclosed probability type item information and also so we have prepared collective and distributed damage relief measures so that we have a dedicated person to look into any damages any unfair damages. And other than these, uh, any of other tasks uh, that the government had overlooked uh, could be found and we are putting our efforts to resolve such issues. For these uh, follow-up measures, to uh, we have to speed up the follow-up measures so that the effects could be realized more quickly. And also, the people should be able to find easily these policies that affect their daily lives so that we have to find ways to communicate these policies that meet the public expectations. From today's meeting, the, the policies and the were discussed and there are people who had answered on the spot to the people who asked the questions. Uh, so today I hope that we have candid, candid opinions and have fruitful discussions.